Okay, we're gonna add a new game object and okay, Sylinder. Okay, I can just go here and transform, reset. Okay, we're gonna move it here, the Sylinder. Oops. Um. Seems that. Okay, let's just make it all right. It's look too big. Okay, all right. So, this is our cylinder. Okay guys, and then as usual we're gonna create a new script. Okay, now we're gonna change color. Okay, change color. Cap cylinder. Okay, no, it's too long. Change color. Okay, and we're gonna double click on it great so we have this class name same with the script name already all right so now we're gonna make it um public void okay okay guys i just finished writing my script but Okay, this is basically what I want to show you. Okay, so we will change the color of the cylinder. The cylinder. So when we click, the color will change. So based on the logic, we have to put the input dot get mouse button down. So that's the function uh, for a C sharp script in Unity. So when we want to click, when we when we click, which is get mouse button down, uh, the coding will access, which is get component access the renderer. The renderer is the uh, material, the color material renderer, and then go to material dot color and change the color to blue. Okay, means whatever the color of this capsule now it's gray so whatever it is when we click on it it will be changed to blue okay unity will access the renderer uh, component and the color component and change it to blue that's the logic of the script here okay only when we have the input which is the mouse button down or when we click on the mouse Alright, so as usual, I'm just gonna uh, again event, add the event trigger and then pointer click, okay, and then again just click plus button here and drag the cylinder here to none and the function, don't forget change color and Okay, wait. Oh my god. Wait, 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 wait. Is that. Okay, we have uh, add the update here, which is as what I told you when uh, when we click on it it will change the color to blue okay but the color actually so wh when before we change it when before we click the color will be magenta but when we click it will change to blue okay uh, I have the color changes here alright so 
as usual when we go to the change color function we have to change it to color change all right okay so let's begin now okay all right so I'm clicking I haven't done anything and when I click it it will be in blue but after I release it will be magenta right you see it right okay and then when we release when we click again the mouse it will be blue and then it will be magenta again blue and magenta okay so that's how to change the color okay make sure you understand the logic which is you will have the this is the basic color before you click on the mouse okay before you click on the mouse there is nothing changed with the color but after you click the mouse since you have the get mouse button down it will be changed to blue but after you release it will be changed again to magenta okay that's how you change the color and hopefully the tutorial for today are useful I have provided you with three functions here okay so the first is the rotation of the cube this red cube okay so when you click on it it will be change to uh, left to right previously it was rotated from right to left okay and again it will have going back forward all right so that's the first okay I think the camera is quite far guys so you guys cannot really see all right or I'm just gonna make this two moving forward oops sorry I'm just gonna make it moving forward yep all right that's great okay and okay seems like wait okay and all right so when we play it okay that was the first one okay I'm gonna woohoo I'm gonna go with the uh, capsule now okay I'm gonna play with it okay so when we click it will move to the other direction okay mm -hmm. and it's still rotating mm -hmm. it's just moving forward and moving backward <laughs> all right and the last one is this color this uh, cylinder okay so when I don't click it will be uh, magenta but when I click it will be blue okay all right so I wish you all have a nice learning today okay I really hope you understand how to rotate the object how to move it forward and backward and how to change the color all right so thank you so much guys for watching I wish you all have a good day today and always stay safe and stay healthy Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh